we actually pressurize the crawl space with a positive air intake. What that consists of, it consists of a low amp motored fan that'll pull air from the inside of the home into the crawl space. That puts positive pressure, which will seal out any outside leaks. This is, this is where all the pipes and, and the go that we were looking at the outside. That's right. Um, I see everything's kind of come in here. It's kind of the, looks like the hub. It's like, it's like the mothership where everything comes and, and goes into. Your duct work, your piping, um, everything runs right here. What is this? And what, is this, what does this do? Mike, what this is, of course, this is the air handler. Uh, this is what we spoke of earlier. It has your evaporator coil and a blower motor, which the blower circulates the air through the house across the coil. That's what gives you conditioned air. Uh, cools your home, of course, in the summer, heats it in the winter. Uh, actually, a heat pump, just if you feel the hot air outside in the summer, heat pump actually just reverses the flow of Freon, then this coil is hot. So that's where you get your heat from. Of course, there's supplemental heat uh, in it in, uh, to make up for super cold days, of course. Um, also, on this particular air handler, we have an electronic air cleaner. Electronic air cleaner can remove uh, three to one microns particles. Uh, a human hair is actually 50 microns. You can't even see a micron with the naked eye. These need servicing twice to once a year, depending on the occupancy. They remove smoke, and of course, if you don't smoke, once a year is fine. Very simple to do, very simple to clean. Just take these grids out, wash them with soap and water. Basically, the way they affect it's like a magnet. Anything that passes through these are charged. The grids are opposite charged, so it attracts it to the grid. And the nicest thing about these, of course, is they clean the inside air of most pollutants, keeps your coil clean, your unit runs more efficient. Uh, I suggest these on every home. Now, I see there's another filter in here. Yes, sir. What is that filter there? That is the post filter. Anything that may get by this grid will be captured by this filter. In effect, nothing's going to get to your coil. Without most of this, the average fiberglass air filter, not, of course not a HEP, but the regular air filters that we recommend using because they, they don't have much drop across them as far as the unit pulling. You're talking about the, the cheap ones. The, 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 the cheap ones. The, the $2. Especially in this situation, the cheap ones are the best. This is your primary, That's your, but they only remove 10 to 20% of what passes through them. Mm -hmm. So a lot of stuff does pass through the filters. And what happens if, now, just to get oriented here, what, what side are we looking at? We've got the, the, the return air. This is return. Where in our home, we see the big grill inside that we have Correct. to replace that filter. Right. And that return air, will, that air will come in through that pipe down in here, and it's, it's pulled in. It Correct? is. Exactly. It's pulled in into this unit, and once that air is in here, it crosses over the coils. Correct. Okay? And, that, and those coils are, are cool or or heated, depending on what time of yes, the season sir. it is. But in this case, it's 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 middle of summer, so we're cooling this Absolutely. air. It comes over the coils, which is being cooled. The coils are being cooled by the refrigerant, the refrigerant that runs pile. out to the condenser. Yes, sir. And that air passes up and then goes into the rest of the trunk line here, Correct. which goes into the, the duct work, which goes into the vents into each room. Right, exactly. Very well explained. Um, that's basically, it causes a negative pressure, which is a return. That's why you get the sucking effect in your filters. Uh, passes across, grows into your trunk, and then runs off to all of your branches. Mm -hmm. One of the really great things about a sealed crawl space, um, and of course, if we were in the attic, typically in the summer, most any climate, south, Texas, anywhere, it's going to get 125 to 130 degrees in your attic. Everyone uses R30 in their attic. Unfortunately, duct works are R8. That's all they make. So, mm -hmm. and you're outside that envelope. When you're in here, it's anywhere from five, eight, maybe ten degrees difference in the inside air, which is not taking the thermal effect on the air passing through your duct work, which there again makes it more efficient. Um, so we're not we're not having that that heat transfer that goes on between a, a duct piece of duct carrying the 70, 70 degree air exactly. in a hundred and twenty degree crawl exactly. space or in the winter time that seventy degree air that's that the air underneath your home is you know whatever the outdoor temperature is so that's it, could be, correct. it could be right. sixteen degrees underneath your house 
a huge difference between temperatures. Sure. And there's going to be that loss, that, right. that heat transfer that goes on between them. Mm -hmm. And as you're saying, in this sealed crawl space, we don't have that problem because the, the air temperature underneath here is only within a few degrees of the air that's passing through Correct. our ductwork. Because of our pressurized, because what this does, it does take the indoor air, as you spoke of early, and pushes it in here. But this air is already conditioned and dry air. So you're not pumping any moist air in here. And as you said before, Mike, positive pressure keeps everything else out. Now, are, are these units sized uh, in accordance with the outdoor condensers, or are they sized separately? That is correct. Uh, they are certified in size, and you match the units, of course, to the condensing. You just can't put any air handler right. on any condensing unit. Being this was a 16 sear, this is actually a what they call a 3137 which is good up to three tons, but you know, being it's a variable speed motor, we trim it to match the condensing unit and the amount of ductwork we have to distribute the amount of, of air that we need in the home. So all matched components. Oh, absolutely. Mismatched components will not give you your sear ratings either. <laughs> so, you know, please, yeah, please always match your equipment. One particular thing about uh, this electronic air cleaner it, it does have an air switch in it. It only works as air is moving across it, of course. And I just like to answer a question. A lot of people ask, should I leave my fan on own or should I leave it on auto? Yeah. And there again, it depends on the climate, of course. Own is going to filter your air continuously. The only downside to having it on, it picks up moisture off the coil and distributes back in your home. So, but these only energize as air goes across them. But that goes back to sizing. If it has enough run time, has enough time to filter your air. If it runs for five minutes, you're not filtering your air in your home. So there it goes right back to the importance of properly sizing. That's why system. we have you. Yes, sir. Thank Des you. Design it correctly for All us. All right. Great. Okay. One of the places you'll find uh, leakage occurring on, on most homes, other than a vent somewhere built into the system, on our, on our sealed crawl spaces, we come in, we frame it up, we foam all the joints, foam the door itself, and then add a weather stripping on the outside of the door. So when we mean that we have a sealed crawl space, we have a sealed crawl space.